Well, we're out here at the land with the uh, YZ250 and the Apex head. It's about 39 degrees, supposed to go up to about 50 today. So we're gonna get her warmed up, test out the uh, mid-range and the low end of this XC Dunn that's currently installed on here. V-Force 3 reeds, flywheel weight, pretty sure it's about 13 ounces. FMF gnarly. And then the FMF turbine core too. So yeah, we'll check it out, do a review about it. I got it jetted pretty rich for the winter because it, it basically goes up to about 40 degrees here. <laughs> Today is kind of an exception. That's why we're out here. But um, got the new stainless steel braided brake line from Galfer. Hopefully that helps out the brake system a little bit with the feel. Yeah, we'll give it a little rip around here and then we'll throw in some GoPro footage. The Apex HUD. From what I can tell riding on the alley, it gave it a lot more low end. I don't have a field or anything where I live currently, so I just went up and down the alley a few times and warmed it up, and it feels almost like a 450 the way the pool is, but they have two or three other domes I heard you can try that are a little bit more explosive. This is the more tame dome. It gets, I guess it just smooths out the uh, power band and the hit, almost like a four stroke a little bit for the woods, because this is all I ride up here is mostly woods. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. We go out here with the Apex head, XC dome. We're gonna give it a couple rips after it's warmed up. See how I like it in the woods. I'm trying out new boots too, so I'm not too good with them. They need broken in. They're pretty tight. Alpine Star, Tech 3. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Kind of nervous, kind of excited. I ran us around the alley a couple days ago. It seemed to give it a lot more low end, like everybody said. So we're going to try it out. Dust the airs for a little bit. Up to about 101 degrees on the floor. A little rich, jetted for winter. Good to go. guards on they're from uh, Duval Racing they transmit a lot of vibration up through that's the only bad thing I'll say about them obviously haven't crashed yet with them I can feel the vibes coming up through them Ooh, 
this thing wants to do is wheelie, holy shit. This will be a lot more linear with the power band. Uh, we'll see. up to 50 today we'll see it's about 40 right now I didn't even calibrate the speed of, so I don't know how accurate it is. Went from the settings on my old one. My old one was pretty close. Endurance too. This is obviously the Vapor. Got it for about 25 bucks on eBay. So that's cool. Had to get the wiring with it. So I just transferred some wires over from the trail tech door. It's two. Stuck them on this one. Seems to be doing pretty good. Got a tachometer, which I like. Digital. Backlight. Wired to my battery. tree there but we're good they cut that up maybe don't look too big though said I'm getting used to these boots they're pretty uh, stiff not broken at all well, I think she's warmed up uh, 130 degrees these radiators from Yamaha do a really good job I never had this thing over 180 even in the summertime Mine. <laughs> 